Okay, so we're just gonna um, uh, go through a client profile form with Laura. Um, the reason we go through the client profile form is just to get a little bit more information um, about your preference to exercise, um, some motivational techniques, so what motivates you, and then any, any barriers, um, I suppose, that could um, you know, stop you from, from coming to the gym and working out. Okay. Um, so, how long would you like to exercise for? Usually yep. around half an hour. Yeah, okay, so, more, so greater than 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, what time of the day do you prefer to exercise? The morning. The morning? Yeah, morning or afternoon. Oh, so any time? Yeah. Any time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. And uh, what days of the week are you able to exercise? Um, any. any day? Yeah. So we'll just circle all of them. And... Um, what exercise do you do you like doing in the gym? Um, I like cardio. Yep. Weights. Yep. Probably high intensity stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's all good. Cardio, weights, and hit. Beautiful. And um, is there any exercises you dislike? Not really. No, you pretty much like doing it all. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um. So exercise goals. Um. So in this one, we're just going to ask you, um, you know, a little bit about what goals you want to achieve with the new exercise program. Mm -hmm. um, so the first one is the, the appearance uh, motivator, which is, you know, to lose weight, to, you know, to fit into a smaller clothes or a specific weight goal um, that you had in mind. So which one of those would, would, would any of those interest you? Yeah, yeah, probably all of them. Yeah, all of them? Okay. Do you have a specific uh, weight goal that you want to... Probably to lose 10 kilos. Yeah? Yeah, 5 to 10. Okay, cool. Awesome. It's good to have a, a specific number. Mm -hmm. Gives you a target. Um, okay, so the social motivator, um, you know, is it a goal of yours to make new friends or to change your current inactive lifestyle or to make exercise a new hobby? Uh, not really. Not really? Okay. You won't tick that one then. Um, the next one is your fitness motivator, which is... Um, anything to do with improving, so improving your aerobic capacity, um, gaining muscle, increased strength. Um, does that would that be a goal for you? Yeah, definitely all of them. All of them? Yeah. Okay, so we'll just circle all of those for you. Um, is there any specific, uh, any any anything specific in there you want to do, like any any muscle gain that you want to do a bit more than, yeah, than I'd others? Yeah, like to improve my strength. Yeah. That's the Strength. Line. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, we'll just write that down. Thank you. Uh, the competence uh, motivator would be, you know, to improve your flexibility, improve your balance, and improve your agility. Would that be a motivator for you? A goal for you to improve your... A goal to improve, but not necessarily yeah. motivated. Yeah, so would a, would a goal be to improve your flexibility? Yeah. Okay, so we can, we can tick that one and we'll circle to improve your flexibility. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so motivation um, de and then depends on your above goals. Uh, we want to, um, we're depending on the above client goals, choose the correct client motivator and provide your client with an appropriate motiv motivational statement to help them commence and adhere to the exercise. Okay, so the appearance one uh, would be, you know, after six weeks, of staying with the weekly exercise program, you will see a noticeable improvement in your body um, shape, muscle, uh, body shape or muscle gain. Mm -hmm. uh, will that be a motivator for you? Yeah. Okay, we'll take that one. Uh, social motivator, um, you know, going to the gym is a great way to meet new friends. You know, it'll, it'll be, a, you know, a new social group for you. Um, not not really a motivation, no? Yeah. Okay. Why, well, you got enough friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so a social motivator, uh, we just went through that one. The fitness motivator, so after six weeks of doing the program, um, you'll see a notice, noticeable improvement in your lifting. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, yeah, you said that you want to improve your strength, so yeah, that that'll come good. with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool, we'll check that one. Uh, the competence one, after six weeks, you have mastered the exercise program and be able to increase your weights for further improvement. Yeah? yeah? Cool. And uh, the interest, enjoyment, motivator. Uh, you said you love exercise. So this new weekly exercise program will be a great addition to your lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. 
Okay, so now we're going to go through uh, some barriers. So barriers are anything that'll you know prevent you from um, you know going through with your with your program and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so first question there is, how committed are you to achieving your goals? Would you say you're extreme, extremely pretty focused, somewhat, or not at all? I would say pretty focused. Pretty focused, that's good. And um, <clears throat> second question is, what could stop you from adhering to a weekly exercise program? So we've got family, social commitments, not motivated, work, or you lose interest quickly? Um, probably not motivated. Not motivated? Yeah. So you lose motivation sometimes? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, now I'm gonna quickly go over the guidelines of physical activity. Um, so there's there's six in total, and we need, we'll go through each one. So um, first one is that uh, by doing any regular physical activity is better than doing none. So even if you go once a week, it's better than going, um, you know, no times a week, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, and then if you're currently doing no physical activity, advise them to start by doing some activity then build up to the recommended amount. Okay, uh, guideline two is um, to advise you, uh, advise your client to spread physical activity throughout through the week. So you don't want to do everything in one in one day. You want to try and spread it out into equal equal portions. Into you know, so you know, so you're not overdoing it, mm -hmm. and therefore injury and stuff like that. So guideline three is that we advise your client that they should accumulate at least one hundred and fifty minutes of moderate intensity physical activity including brisk walking or 75 minutes of vigorous activity or an equivalent combination of moderate and vigorous activities each week which we already worked out that you do so mm -hmm. that's good um, and then guideline four is that uh, for any additional health benefits and for prevention of weight gain and some cancers you should accumulate 300 minutes of moderate intensity intensity activity or 100 minute, 150 minutes of vigorous or an equivalent combination of moderate and vigorous activities each week. Mm -hmm. So that means by, you know, upping that uh, 240 to 300 yeah. uh, combined, you know, it'll, it'll be really good for you, you know, and it'll help you with the, um, you know, the prevention of weight gain and stuff like that, which is good. So that's one we could we could do possibly in, increase that. Um, guideline five is advising your client that as well as the activity in guideline four, they should also undertake muscle strengthening activities on at least two days each week, which you you, you told me you do anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is good. And then guideline six is um, to minimise the amount of time uh, spent sitting and to break up long periods of sitting as often as possible. So if you're sedentary in your uh, lifestyle, if you have an office job or anything like that, um, you know, we advise you that, you know, um, to minimise the uh, amount of time sitting. Mm -hmm. So maybe get up, you know, go for a walk, uh, go for a walk to get a glass of water or mm -hmm. whatever it is, just don't stay sitting the whole time because yeah. it's not good for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, just sign there for me. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.